Hey, what's your secret? You got the kind of that leaves you speechless. It could be model, multitasking, genius. Yeah, you got it all. Hey, what's your story? A kick ass mom in 40 under 40. A soccer practice in your high heel glory. Yeah, you do it all. Hello guys and welcome to 2024. I cannot believe we're starting a brand new year. Um, full disclaimer, this video was actually filmed right before Christmas, but I know how much you guys love my rearranging or what we like to call it here are my itch to switches. So I wanted to go ahead and get it filmed and put up for you. I did want to mention I'm going to have a bonus video this Friday. So Friday I'm going to be um, posting a video of taking down my Christmas and cleaning up. So if you want to see that too, definitely make sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell. So when I post on different days, you know, I'm putting up those bonus videos. Otherwise I pretty much post every Sunday and Wednesday. So be on the lookout for new videos every single week. Okay, so let me go ahead and get you caught up. The first thing I was switching out was our mud room area. So this is what I call our mud room bench. It's right where we come in from the garage. That's where we park. Um, so we always have like coats here and that basket's just full of like sunglasses and keys and stuff like that. But I was ready to go ahead and get Christmas down and normal decor up in that space. So right here you can see in my laundry room, decor is overflowing. I have all of it crammed in different places since Christmas was still up, but I'm gonna be putting out so many like decluttering videos and organizational videos this month. I feel like this is the month that we finally get the itch. Even if you're not one to want to declutter or one to organize, this is the month that we kind of get that extra push into it. So I want to give you tons of motivation so we can get our houses ready for this year, which is 2024. Now we are clearing out this white dresser. So I can link this for you. It looks just like the Ikea dresser, but it's actually from Amazon. So if you're like me and you don't have an Ikea clothes, so like shipping is either crazy or they don't offer it, definitely check this one out. It's really good for kids spaces as well. Savannah has the same one in her bedroom, but I was ready to do some rearranging and I wanted to put our black dresser in here. So before we can move them, I'm going to go ahead and get both of them emptied out and cleaned out um, because are already heavy pieces plus I was gonna have different items in them than where they are now so I had to get them cleaned out moved and then I'll get them organized So I like keeping our extra sheets in this bedroom and our bench at the foot of our bed actually has storage in it, which is super nice. If you're tight on space, definitely make sure you're buying pieces that you can use storage as well. So that's all I pretty much had in this dresser. I think I had swimsuits and then sheets. Chase used it for more items. He has more clothes than I do, um, but he was gonna be making it work since we're just putting this one into the closet now. But if you saw me putting items into that storage bin, it was just all of our extra sheets and bedding. Right when it's wrong, I've stayed here too long, but something brings me back to you. I swear we belong, I'm still hanging on, but something brings me back to you. This is a little late, but if you or your husband don't own these little rollers, you should. If you rearrange like me, or even just half as much as me, they are so helpful. I used to be able to carry like big heavy pieces like this, but I can just tell my body is getting older and it's getting harder on me. And it's so much easier to roll. So these save us so much. And like I said, these two dressers are so stinking heavy. I don't think I could ever carry them. Um, plus we didn't want to like scratch our floors or do any of that. So it just makes it easy. We can put furniture on it and then roll it out. 
Getting pieces into this tight little area can be tricky because they're so heavy and we can't keep the wheels on the whole time, otherwise we can't get them out from underneath it. But I love having this dark piece in here. It did make the space a little bit more moody instead of glam, but this um, dresser's a little bit taller, so I feel like it fits this space better. The other one was a little low. Um, the drawers are a perfect size. Um, it definitely just like completed the look and elevated it just a little bit, and we didn't need the dresser in our bedroom. If you're wondering what I'm moving into our bedroom, you're about to find out. I think you guys are going to be just as excited as me. So it was Christmas time still, and I told Chase, I said, I really just miss the fireplace being in our bedroom. I loved it so much at our last house, and I had it decorated for Christmas, and I had all of our stockings on it. I didn't think it was gonna fit though where we hung our TV, and so I just ruled it out, which we should never do, we should never assume. So he went in there and measured it, and was like, actually, it's gonna fit. And so we knew we had to move it. If you guys are new here, I keep nothing. I change things all the time. I love change. I'm always rearranging, but this piece has been in every single one of our houses, even the houses you guys um, didn't know. Like even before YouTube was a thing, this piece was in there. It's had so many different lives. It's been so many different colors and had so many different transformations. It's been in bedrooms. It's been in dining rooms. It's done everything. And I just love this. It holds so many memories and I'm so excited that we're getting to put it into our bedroom. One tip when I'm rearranging, I love to go ahead and vacuum underneath the area where I'm moving the furniture. You don't have to do the whole space because you're still going to be moving around in it and like decluttering and organizing or whatever it is. But where that big furniture is going, if you've moved a piece, go ahead and get it vacuumed because you may not be able to do it for a while. Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning? What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow, why won't you follow me home, I know I can't make you mine, yes I ran out of town, there's no hope for me, 
I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Of you No, you can't see the whole room yet but isn't that so cozy so in our last house we had the dresser and then this fireplace was in between um, two windows in this house when I was deciding the windows I kept deciding like do I take out one of the windows so it would fit in that same way but we had such a pretty view here I didn't want to remove a window I wanted to keep all three and so I didn't think I was ever gonna be able to make it work in here especially once we hung that TV it was like oh I probably should have looked at that but I didn't so this piece we've lived here less than a year and it's already been in three spaces it was in my office then it was in the guest bedroom and now it's in our bedroom but it just looks great in every single bedroom we put it in I'm gonna head back into our closet to start organizing things now that pieces are moved I really thought I was gonna have to take the dresser that's in my office to put it um, in the guest bedroom, which is where it started originally. So it's the matching set to the nightstands in there, but it's just kind of wide for the space. Like our guest bedroom is very um, cozy. We'll say that it's perfect. I put a king size bed in there. We could have done a queen and had more space, but when people come, I like them, especially my brother-in-law. He's like, he's just a tall guy. Like he needs a king size bed. Plus Savannah loves to do like sleepovers in there and like all her friends can stay. So I really wanted the king. So that made it a little bit cozy, but I'm gonna show you here in a little bit what we decided to do in that space but first I wanted to start putting things away because our house looked like a bomb went off I shoot in the dark so I miss my talk it's a time to move on but I cannot I shoot in the dark so I miss my talk it's a time to move on you know so I I want you follow won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of time. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. And so I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print. Once I saw the black dresser in here with all my black clothes above it, it was just too much black. Did you guys ever think you would hear me say too much black? But basically I wanted to balance out. So I'm moving all my like whites and creams over above it. And then my blacks on the other side, just so it balances the room. I am all about like symmetry and balance. Now I will say I'm not decluttering. I'm not organizing. I'm literally just moving. I'm going to be decluttering this space very soon and then doing a whole video organizing this space. I wanna put some up on my seasonal rods. I feel like everything's so crammed on these few rods and I have such a big space where I could get things higher um, so I could put up like my summer t-shirts and all of that tank tops up high and then switch them out so that is something I'm gonna be working on but not today I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful I feel like this is the first time I can really organize my house. So I'm gonna be really aware of decluttering things I'm no longer using. I saved so much for this house, not knowing what I would need versus our old house. We haven't lived here a full year yet, but I feel like I'm just grounded more knowing like, okay, I'm gonna use this or I'm not. Um, so I feel like now that we've even lived here, I can organize better where we just kind of like moved in and put things where we could. And I used like the same system I did in our other house, but some of those systems may need to be tweaked for this house, if that makes sense. So I'm just really excited about getting this house under control for the new year.
until my lungs give out your beautiful This is another piece that I love. It's really good if you're short on storage in your home. Maybe you don't have many closets. Maybe you just have a lot of people living in one house. So like closets are full. Um, maybe you just have a smaller house and you need more storage. Pieces like this are so good because you can use them to like sit on and you know, they function well, but they also hold things like extra bedding and blankets and sheets, even Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So they're just really nice to have. If you're gonna have a bench or something out and you need the storage space it's worth it just to spend a little bit so that it can serve like two purposes I have not mentioned this vacuum here yet. Um, Chase surprised me with it for my birthday and I've been testing it out. I haven't had a Dyson since the very beginning of my channel. That's when I got a new Dyson. It didn't last forever. Um, I switched to my LG and I've loved my LG, but he knew I was like itching to try a new Dyson just cause I'm sure they're way better now. And this one has been amazing. Like I love all the attachments, but the one I love the most, it has a green light on it for like hard surface floors. I had no idea how dirty my floors were until I have that light and they get dirty so quick, especially like in toilets and around them. Like there's just a lot of dust and dander like underneath bar stools. I don't know, even Savannah uses it. It is amazing. So I'm going to link it for you. If you already have a Dyson and you're happy with it, I saw on Amazon Dyson has the attachment. I don't even know if it's Dyson brand, but they have the attachment where you can hook on the green light. So if you don't want to buy a new Dyson for it, you can still get that attachment because it is a game changer. Like I already love vacuuming at night when a vacuum has a light on it because it just shows everything. This you can even see it during the day. It is amazing. It is satisfying. It is disgusting. It is all the things. So I'm going to link both of those things for you. I knew this piece really wasn't gonna stay in the guest bedroom, but I wanted to put it in there for size reference. So if you have a furniture in your house, it's really good to like use it in the spaces that you're looking for other furniture. So you know, you have a guide, you know, if you need something smaller, you know, if you need something bigger, you know, if it needs to be shorter or whatever it is. And so I stuck our bench in here, decorated it. Cause I wanted to see, do I want a bench in here? Do I want a dresser in here? Like, what do I want? Do I need another fireplace? As soon as I put the bench in here, I was like, that is definitely what this space is calling for because it's not a huge area. And so it gives our guests a place to sit if they're putting on shoes or something and they don't wanna sit on the bed. Um, so I knew I needed a bench, so I was gonna go shopping and I actually found one I needed that same day. So I'm gonna clear out some of the Christmas trees in here, I was ready to get it out. And then I'm gonna show you what we picked up from Home Goods. Okay, so what's funny about the bench that we picked up, I have been eyeing it for probably two or three weeks in Home Goods, but I'm like, I don't have a spot, I'm not buying it, I don't need it. So when we started this whole rearrange thing and then I didn't know what to put in here, it just like clicked. I was like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I want. I knew as soon as I went there it would be sold, but it wasn't, <laughs> and so we were able to grab it. 
it is the perfect piece it's so like airy in here they could put storage underneath it so maybe they have a lot of shoes maybe it's their suitcase like it's not just taking up the whole space you can sit on it you can store things under it um, my sister came in for Christmas and they put the dog bed under there and sweet little Maui loved sleeping underneath the bench so all in all it was like the perfect rearranging but now I had to take back our old bench into our space but I want to thank you guys so much for being here every single year every single video you guys show up for me and I am just truly so thankful and can't thank you guys enough um, I really do appreciate you guys and I'm so excited to see what 2024 brings I have so many ideas so many videos planned so like I said earlier make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them let me know what you think like comment share them because it helps me out but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one bye